everybody and welcome to this tutorial for Justin Timberlake's Can't Stop the Feeling. What an awesome track. It's so simple, but so groovy, so funky, so fresh, happy, whatever you want to call it. I like it. I love it. You know, this song, you can make it as difficult as you want, but I figured to just show you the chords and then you can do with it whatever you want, right? It's the foundational structure, the skeleton of the song, but a note that is actually built on that super groovy bass line. I don't think I will show you that in this lesson, but maybe we'll get to that as well. First of all, here are the basic first three chords, which hold the entire structure of this song. The first one, C. That was an A uh, minor seven, by the way. And then you go to. Difficult, right? So actually what we're doing, this is a regular C chord we inverted and inverted again to get to the second inversion, G, C, E, and that's uh, second inversion of C. First one, two, three, inside my bones. So basically you just grab that C, then you move your left hand to an A, stick to that C because now an A minor is like this, A, C, E, seven is like that. If you move it over there, then that's a very complicated way of saying just keep the right hand chord where it was. And then we're going to an F, which is a sort of major nine, but it lacks the third by just sticking to that C, which is so C over F, okay? That's nice to, to add that, but he doesn't do it over there at least. So one, two, three, four, one, Two, three, four. Oh yeah, and then get back to that same A. Yeah, so that is it. So uh, I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric maybe when I turn it on. All through the city, all through my home. I don't know what it do, when it turn it on. I got that sunshine in my pocket. Yes, uh, so just repeat that until you get to, this is the easiest way of playing it, right? I might get a little more complicated in just a second, but basically you can play the entire thing now, except for that so let's look at those chords they're actually pretty easy c sus so you stick to a c in the bass b flat over c okay also called c sus for those of you that are interested i add this f over here as well to get to four notes to make it a little fuller and everything goes that is just to a regular c that we saw as being the first chord nowhere to hide this is actually the same thing also B flat, but now I play a major seven because that is the vocal note. Okay, so you can either play the exact same thing again or the second time. Okay, back to C. Now the root position, or if you want to this, or make it four notes, whatever you want. And then uh, it moves down a whole step. So you go to a B flat in the bass and it's again sus, but now nicely with a major seven so that's actual sus a flat major seven over b flat which resolves to a regular b flat yeah and then you get to just imagine just imagine just imagine so what you can do over there to simulate the movement up with those vocals or sing them if you want that's maybe even cooler but if you want to simulate that on a piano then you start on the f minor over here then that's F, uh, A flat, C, and then you add the E flat, so just imagine, just imagine. Then you add the G, the rest of the chord stays the same, and go to a B flat to get to that same B flat sus again, okay? Um, it's played like this. Where you move and you already know 
just imagine, just imagine, just imagine. Two, three, four, boom. Okay, so last is one, two. So yeah, you see that um, the chorus is actually the exact same thing again as we already saw those chords. Maybe try adding a, an extra bass note over there so you get to octaves. But furthermore, it's the exact same thing. So super simple if you want to play this in the easy version. Okay, this is the most easy version to play the song. Uh, so for you beginners, that was it. And uh, I hope that you liked it. If you did, then please hit the thumbs up, like it, share this video. Uh, or get over to my website or and get over to my website if you want to learn more about chord piano, the piano approach. Like this song was written as well. Uh, and you see it's easy to copy like this. Actually super easy to play if you're not st stuck to lines and dots on a paper, right? If you approach it through chords like the actual pro musicians do as well, just like Justin did, if he wrote the song, I'm actually not sure, but his songwriter did. And um, then you see how easy the structure of this song actually is. Uh, if you want to get into that, then you're at the right address at pianocouture.com. If you're seriously motivated and want to get more into this kind of piano style, want to learn all about it and maybe Consider taking my course or my reading my book, Hack the Piano, which will teach you exactly how this works. Or else get on my newsletter for something free every week. And that was it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.